Welcome back, all you Minecraft people. I am your host, Renovate. And today, guys, is episode number four. Woohoo! You know, I wish this hat that uh, you can unlock would actually let you fly. That'd be so cool. Um, so, yeah, guys, check out my new gear. It looks like I'm a solid block of obsidian. But it's really cool, guys. So, look at this. Uh, let's get in, like, this thing right here. So, if you make a complete set of obsidian armor... Um, it's from the block armor mod, and if you if you just go in here and look at block armor, you can pretty much make um, any armor from any uh, material. And I don't know, does it say? Yeah, there's the set. So if you look at some of the things, it has um, effects if you have the whole entire set. And this one being um, health boost. Uh, increases your health by 10 hearts. You get fire protection 4. Uh, immovable so it's it's pretty good gear and I, I needed it it was it's pretty inexpensive to make actually I mean if you get obsidian right off the bat uh, it's pretty cheap to make but uh, I needed it because I've been clearing out this temple and I need to show you what I've done so I think last episode we worked on chickens if I remember correctly and as you can see our chickens are gone, and this is all that I have left. But have no fear. You're about to see something pretty cool. This is the chicken room. Welcome to my chicken room. Yes, these are 10, 10, 10 chickens. So I have a ender pearl chicken, 10, 10, 10. Boop, 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 boop. Why is that egg? not going in that chest <laughs> is the egg that's in the chest not 10 10 10 Whoop. it's a 10 10 10 and this is a 10 10 10 but they don't stack well that's weird let's but yet if i click on it with this one does it man that is that's funky isn't it Okay, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, I got Ender Pearl there. I got Bone. So we got some bones here. Um, I'm really not worried about Bone Meal. I don't know why I did this one. Uh, I do have the Redstone Chicken. I have the Iron Chicken, Glowstone Chicken, uh, Nether Quartz Chicken, Glass Chicken. Check out that dude. Isn't that pretty cool? And I got Diamond Chicken. And I have Gold Chicken. Now the Gold Chicken is basically a pigman. Um, and they don't give you gold uh, ingots, they give you gold nuggets. So that was kind of a disappointment. I was hoping that I'd actually get the uh, gold ingots, or gold ingots, the iron ingots like you get from this guy. So yeah, we get those from that guy. But these diamond chickens, OP. I mean, seriously. Look at, look at the bottom number, 4 times 64. So there's, I already have four stacks of diamonds. This is my little... This is my itty bitty chicken trophy. Look at it. It's so cute. And over here is where all the madness takes place. So, yeah. Basically what I do is I put the leftover guys over here. This right here is the nesting pen, right? And then this right here is the breeding pen. And then this right here is where I put the leftover 10 by 10s. Um, and I just keep moving them back and forth. So right there are the two ender pearl, uh, and there's an ender pearl, and that's a coal. That is another wart. That's a diamond. So there's actually a diamond right there. And then if we come over here, that's a silver. I don't know how I got the silver, but we did. Um, and then that's glowstone, redstone, and that's another gold, and that is the nether quartz. And that's a water chicken. And that's a glowstone chicken. So inside here, you can see I got uh, plenty of diamonds. Uh, we got, it's like a one-off bucket. So the, the uh, water chicken lays water eggs, which is kind of weird. But yeah, that's what it does. And you can see we just got all kinds of resources. And um, like I said, it's insane. The diamond ones, 
you would think that it would be a little bit harder because it actually is a tier that's a tier five i believe chicken this is a tier six chicken but i'm not quite sure why that one egg didn't work did where did did it it shows five ender pearls well that's weird see they don't stack why don't you stack boop 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 huh that's interesting well, we'll put it over there then is this one good with this one yep that one's good so we just had a un we just had a weird one here didn't we that's weird okay well let's just hatch it <laughs> what the hell okay so this is chickens uh, it's very addicting. It's very fun. Um, I love it. And it's something that you can uh, just sit down and do. You can go AFK. Um, the nice thing about the chickens, I don't know if it's just this pack or if it's all the packs. Let's say that I have, uh, let's get our analyzer out. Let's say that I have, what's this, this cold chicken right here? That's an 888 chicken, right? Um, if I put that 888 chicken in next to a... 10, 10, 10 chicken here. If if they have something that they can breed and make, they will. But if it doesn't, the 10, 10, 10 chicken actually uh, provides, even if I put a 3, 3, 3 chicken in here, there's a good chance that the 3, 3, 3 will lay a 9, 9, 9 egg. Um, and that's been the case about 95% of the time. I have gotten some that are like 8, 8, 8. Um, but most of the time they're 999s, and then I immediately put the 999s in the hatchery, or in the nesting, and then once, uh, they hatch, I just breed the two 999s, and you immediately get a 10, 10, 10, almost, uh, I'd say 99 per 9.9, uh, to like the 10th power <laughs> chance. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, it, in, in the process of doing these, though, there are some chickens that are just absolutely annoying. One being the red, and the other one being the yellow and the green. So anything that makes a pigment, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, they just litter the ground like you've never seen. I mean, it's unreal. Um, so I had to actually just take those chickens. They're right here. So here's the brown, green, uh, yellow, red, and another yellow. These are all ten chickens. And um, I had to put them away because these guys, even though they, they produce uh, needed materials... The pigments, I think they're they're laying they're they're I don't want to say laying, but they're uh, producing like two at a time, which is uh, super super annoying. So yeah, this is going to be my chicken area. I, I just I don't know what to do with this whole room, guys. I started doing this black band around it, and then I'm like, you know, I don't even like that either. I filled the center in with grass. I was going to have the chickens go away around the room, and that became I didn't want to do that either because what was happening. And I don't know why now, but uh, I'm getting oscillates coming in from here and from the other direction. And they just, they hang out inside this room because they really want to eat my chickens. And I also get them upstairs. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a nice entryway and it's going to come in. I think I'm going to make this one entire room, uh, this marble, and then have all the main chickens that I think would be useful for other people in case they want the eggs. And like I said, I have... Uh, a plenty of eggs. Uh, I got uh, <laughs> seven, seven uh, times sixty-four. Oh, that's redstone. We have uh, two stacks of there, three stacks, four stacks, three stacks, two stacks, two stacks. I mean, I got I got a lot of chickens. For there only being I think five or six people recording on the server. Um, if you want one, come get it. Otherwise, it's just here for show. And uh, if I need resources, then we will hatch all of the eggs and we'll have a bunch of 10 10 10s producing unlimited amounts of materials that we're going to eventually need down the road okay so with that all being said i wanted to demonstrate real quick how this works and i think if i go to chickens i hope oh, not jiggins chickens man if i could only spell today there we go um i was looking at this one, the blaze rod chicken. I think that'd be an awesome chicken to have. Now we already have the gold chicken. We need to make a lava chicken. So the lava chicken requires a coal chicken and another quartz chicken. So that 
is why I made these cold chickens. So this cold chicken here is a 333. Three. We don't want that. So we're going to slip him over there. This cold chicken, however, is probably a 999. He's an 888. What is this one? He's an 888. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take... Um, we're going to take... Where is our another... There he is over here. We're going to take this dude right here. And we're going to put him in there. We're going to take the diamond guy and put him over here. Oops. Did he go in? Yeah, he's in. We're going to take uh, this guy here and put him over there. And I don't have any eggs sitting there. Uh, look how many eggs this guy's producing. It's, it's insane. It really is. Um, I'm not kidding. So there's some more diamonds. So there's some more 10 diamond, 10 eggs. Let's just put that in there. Let's go put these over here. Oh, you weren't supposed to get out. I'll put you back over here. Boop. Okay. So let's go put our resources away. So what I was thinking about doing is on the back sides of these, uh, glowstone eggs, bam. And then do we have any other? No, we didn't have any other eggs. On the back sides of these, I would probably use ender conduits, um, conduits, and just filter the eggs and the resources, and all the manure is going to go to one place, and all the feathers uh, will probably get trash canned because I really don't need feathers at the moment. I don't think there's going to be any reason to keep the feathers at all. But the manure, I have a pretty, uh, a pretty cool um, idea that I want to use for uh, power using the... Um, I think it's called the manure something something generator <laughs> engine something. Uh, let's go to hatchery. It's right here. It's called the methane digester generator. Um, pretty pretty easy recipe to make, but we got to come up with a way to get water and the buckets and stuff like that. And so that's something that we're going to actually work on today. But with we're going to work off the cows today. We're going to do a quick setup just to see if something actually works, and if it does. I'm gonna make it after, or I'm gonna make it uh, off screen. Why did that not grab that one? There we go. And um, let's go ahead and put that in there in the poop. In those, okay. All right. So we wanted to breed. Uh, uh. Oh crap! Did you see what I just did? I just clicked the egg. That's an ender pearl chicken. So let's do. Let's put that over here. Bam. All right. What eggs in my hand? Oh, those are the diamond eggs. Why did I not see that in my inventory? Boom. Okay, what we want to do is we want to breed these two guys together right here. And if we look, if we go back to chickens, chickens, once again, I can't spell. And it's right, or it's not that one, it's this one. If we go to lava chicken, there's only a 17% chance that this is even going to work, okay? So we got coal and nether quartz. So I can do it one of two ways. I can either put these two guys side by side and see if it works, or I can actually breed them right here. Now I think this guy, he's a 10, 10, 10. He's only an 8, 8, 8. It would probably be beneficial to me to take these two 8, 8, 8s and breed them and try to get a 999 out of it. There's a good chance that it will work, and there's a good chance that it won't work. Uh, we're going to take the chance that it's going to work, so we're going to do that anyway. So let's do this. Boom, and then boom. And let's see what we get out of those two guys. Boop, they just farted an egg, so let's check it out. It's a 9910. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I was expecting a 999. So let's put this guy over here, and let's see. It's up to 21%. And it's up to 0%. <laughs> it's up to 0%. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to let those two dudes do their thing. Because you can see the 888's cooldown is a little bit over a minute. But these guys here, if I were to breed these two, which we could probably... This guy's got 50 second cooldown. Um, if I were to breed those two guys together, most likely I would get... Um, what are you back there? Are you an ender? Yeah, you're an ender pearl. Um, I could breed these guys, but uh, typically on the 10 10 tens, the breeding time is like I think 30 seconds or something. There's some ender pearls. So um, if that's the case, let's take you and put you over here. Now, the way that I'm collecting all this stuff is this thing right here. It's an absorption hopper. The absorption hopper is sucking all the crap in in a seven by seven area. So it's going to the wall, to the wall, to the edge there and it gets to here, but not 
anything in this pen, which is kind of dumb. But it's absorbing everything and putting it in here. So every once in a while, I got to jump over there and grab some stuff. So let's get these ender pearls. Um, but I, I love, I love doing this. I don't know why it's so fun. Um, it's just, it's just fun. <laughs> So let me let these guys, uh, let me let this hatch. I think if I stand on it, it actually happens quicker or something like that. But it's already at 23%. So give me a couple minutes and I'm going to actually get some other stuff set up. And uh, we'll, uh, we're going to work on seeing how we could milk our cows today. Um, I'm still trying to do everything without power uh, to a certain point. Um, so they'll try maybe, I don't know, if we go through like eight episodes with no power. Um, but I don't have anything on my base that requires power. And uh, I just want to see how far. It's driving me absolutely insane that I'm not that I'm not trying to go to power first. That's how I've always done my series is go straight to power. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how long I can go and see how long I can do this. It's a whole new other way of playing Minecraft. And it, it's making it pretty fun uh, and enjoyable, at least on my end. So I'll be right back. So we need to make a chest. Because I think it's paper. I think to make a, I, we need to make one of these. Uh, yeah, so it's a popper and a frame. So there's that. And I don't have any iron, but we do have tons of iron downstairs. So all I got to do with these is take these and make nuggets. And then grab some of this binder conduit. And then, uh, or this uh, yeah, conduit binder, whatever. Go like that. And then like that. And that's going to make us... 24. I only really need one. <laughs> That's all I really need. Uh, so let's do that. Let's put that in our, our bag of uh, holding. Oh, we, there's some iron right there. Uh, let's put this here. And do we need anything else out of here other than these? This is going to be part of what we're doing today right here. And then we are going to need to make... Um, you know what I think Link said is... He planted, he, Link came over to visit me, and he planted some, uh, where did he put it? He planted some uh, sugar cane, and I don't see, oh, there it is, down there by his boat. Okay, found it. So we need that sugar cane so we can make some paper, because I don't have any paper. I think I gave him my paper. Um, he did find something, in, oh, what the frick? He did find something interesting. There's a tree in the game that's bark. I'll show it to you here in a second. Um, did I lose any? Yeah, it looks like I lost some. Waste not one night. Let's get it. Um, there's a tree in the game that has bark that uh, is paper. And I thought that that's what a birch tree was. I mean, to be technical, I thought a birch tree is the one that has the white bark that they can make parchment paper out of, but maybe it's not. But yeah, there's a tree, and it's right here. Paper bark sapling. Isn't that cool? So you take like paper and surround it by, or uh, take a, an oak and surround it with paper, and you get one of those. So there's some three papers, and so now I need to go like this, and like that, and a hopper, and then surround it like that. Okay, so that's all we need. I just had this weird feeling that I'm not recording. All right, so um, what cow do we want to start with? Um, let's see here. One of these is a lava cow, actually. Um, which cow is the energetic alloy? Is it this? Is it this guy? That is Signalum. What are you? Nephtha. Hmm. I think that's the lava guy. Um. Yeah, lava. Maybe I didn't get that one. Okay. Well, I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Alright. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, let's grab... Um, let's put you over there, and you over there. This is Man of Steel. Let's grab this pulsating iron one. Oh, I can't reach him. So, what I need is to actually put a block 
here. Let's do this. And then let's get rid of that's too high. That's that's probably gonna be okay. Okay. So there's this thing called a, a mechanical user, okay? And basically what it does, we can go in here and we can uh, type in a uh, mechanical user. I mean, just type in mechanical. There's a mechanical miner and a mechanical user. And it's a pretty simple recipe. It's just uh, um, a, a dropper, and then you put a resonating redstone crystal, which you find when you're mining, and then a lever, and it gives you this mechanical user. And basically what it does is... Um, that's not the orientation that I wanted. Let's see if I can get this right. This is what I hate about this block is it's hard to get. Yeah, I don't know if I can even rotate it. Can I rotate this thing? No, I can't. So, I think if I dig down one more block, I'm going to be underground. Yeah, that's a long way down. Um, tell you what, let's go. Let's go nerd pole. Hopefully the cow doesn't fall in that hole. All right. So yeah, I was um, basically it's a it's a it acts like a user, and by uh, activating a clicking command, this is about right. Yeah. So that you don't have to do it. So we want to orient that. No, dag on it. All right. So screw this. So it's gonna face me no matter what. Let's do that, and let's put our dirt block back. So we're going to have to do it from the top. So let's go like this. All right, and let's put this back down, and then put this here, and that should work. Okay, and then we are going to... Um, but for right now, we're going to test this out right here. So I am going to put th this thing. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> Can you guys tell? Here, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this there. Perfect. And then I'm going to put a fence post there and a fence post there. And a fence post. I swear to God. There. And there, so he can't get out because he might be able to climb over that thing. And then we're going to chop this, okay? And then we're going to take this bad guy and we're going to stick him in there. All right, cool. All right, so what we're going to do is this thing has a generic click. So you can tell it to do a generic click, you can tell it to place blocks, you can use an item on a block. Um, it's kind of like, I forget what mod it was, but it was like an, um, an, um, active, activated or actuated something. Um, but it basically we used to use it uh, on skyblocks to, um, automate the, um, sieving process. It would sit there and click the sieve and it would sieve all the stuff for you while you're not, while you're not there. So we just need a generic click, right click, and then we're going to set this to always on. And what this is going to do it's going to always right click the cow, okay? And it's going to right click the cow with a bucket, if we put a bucket in there, until something is full or it can't click on it, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to put a fluid tank. Now I could put it right here and then run a pipe around this way, but I want to make this a little bit clearer so you guys can see it. So we're going to put a fluid tank there, okay? And then we're going to take our, uh, our ender conduits, these things, I only need one, and we're going to stick it right like that. And then we're going to take this card, and what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that even though that we're extracting fluid in a bucket, I wish, you know I'm going to do real quick, just so I can talk so I'm not talking over to the cows, I'm going to turn down uh, friendly creatures, just so you guys can hear me, all right? It's nice and quiet. Actually, you know what, Let's. I want to turn them up a little bit. I mean, they're... Yeah, I like that. That's good. I just want to, I still want to hear them. I want to make sure they're not dead. All right. So even though this thing, uh, this, this is an item conduit, it's the item is the bucket. All right. And we're going to tell this to extract and insert. Okay. 
and we are going to tell it to extract a bucket and put the bucket in here, okay? So when you look at this fluid tank, this fluid tank is looking for a bucket of something. And when the bucket gets here, it actually puts it in here, actually comes in on this side, and then it, then the empty bucket sits here unless something else happens, right? We need to go into the configs and let's rotate. Oops, we didn't need to do that. Let's rotate this thing. Like, um, crap. I got my buttons backwards. There we go. We need this in and out. Whoops, go back one. In and out. There we go. And always active. Cool. So this thing is going to pull the bucket with fluid through here. It's going to set the bucket in here. This thing's going to empty the bucket. And then we need to tell this. We want this to insert, 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 and extract. We want to insert in green. So green channel is going in. And you can pick what other channel. We can pick red, okay? I'm sorry. Green is in. Extract is red, okay? Always active. And that's fine. So, and on this side, the extract, like so. Hmm. Do we want to extract? Do we want to put this as the extract? Um, yeah, I think this is where we want to blacklist a bucket. Let me see. Let me get, uh, let's see if this works. I think this is how it should work. Theoretically, that should be the way it works. And we want this to be insert uh, red channel and extract here. So the extract, we're going to blacklist a bucket. All right. If all things goes as planned, this thing will take, it'll milk that cow and it will pump it into here. You'll see this go up and then the bucket will come back across. Okay, you ready? Let's put the bucket in here. <laughs> Is it going to do it? Do I have to generic click. Right click. All right, guys, I'm, I'm, it, I'm a little stupid, but I'm not that stupid. <laughs> so we had a generic click, right? It doesn't know what it's clicking. So you have to tell it that it's clicking an entity. It could be clicking water. It could be clicking a pool of lava. It could be clicking anything, right? And so we need to tell it to click on an, on an entity. So we're going to put that there. We're going to take him and put him back in here. Is that the right guy? No. I'm going to take that guy, right? Jesus. Let's grab him. Put him in here. And now it will work, I promise. Now, if I put the bucket in here, it's going to click on it. Okay, watch. And it's not going to do it because he's got a cool down time. I swear to God. So, we're going to put the bucket in here. We're going to pull out the empty bucket. And we're going to tell it, the reason that we're telling it to blacklist an empty bucket is because we don't want it. See, the thing's going to keep clicking until it gets something. We don't want it to pull out the empty bucket or there will be nothing to click on. So we want to keep that empty bucket in there until it has something. So if it has something, then it's not an empty bucket. So basically the, the, the filled up bucket would be the whitelisted. That makes sense. So that's why I want to do that. So let's put this in here and it should work. I swear to God. <laughs> Did we milk that guy too? I mean, geez Louise. <laughs> ah. Seriously, right as I right as I stopped, there must be like some. There must be a. Uh, there must be a, like a little time limit. Look at this, isn't that so stupid? Give me this freaking bucket back. All right, let's do this. Look, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna get rid of this cow. I want to prove to you that worked. That I didn't just do that on my own. I'm gonna put you down here. Let's grab. Can't milk a pig. We could try, but we probably wouldn't be we wouldn't be successful. Put you in here. Actually, you know what? Move out. I want to grab that guy. All right, let's go down here. Let's put you in here. Okay, you ready, guys? Watch. I, I guarantee you that this will work. <laughs> I 
promise that it's going to work. I just need to find a place to dump this now. Uh, let's go ahead and dump it. I need to dump it somewhere where there's not like a, a block. Like right there. All right. So let's put the bucket in here. Give it a second. And watch. Maybe it's maybe it does it by ticks. Like five ticks or something. But you'll see the liquid in here. I guarantee it. Watch. Just give it like ten seconds. <laughs> there it is. Woohoo! 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 Yeah, we succeeded. You know what, guys? I'm so exhausted from that. That's going to be my episode. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Next episode, guys, I'm going to have this all automated. I'm going to have it all set up. All the cows are going to get milked. And everybody's going to be happy. At least most of them. So, yeah, guys, hit the like button. Leave me some comments or suggestions. Make sure you check out everybody else that's playing on the Voxel server. We are hosted by Sticky Pistons. Make sure you go and uh, check them out if you need a server for Minecraft. I am just going to hang out here with the cows until next episode. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.